Give me, give me some money. 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 I need my mother ass in. We're here. I'm trying to sell it for 150 or get a loan. $75 instead of the 50 Yeah, I wasn't interested in more than 50 they say, put your money where your mouth is, and these pawn shop owners don't put their money in fakes. It's got to be the real deal or no deal. If your item or money's fake, it's a no-go. Some customers come in to barter fakes like gift cards, Gucci bags, diamond earrings. The customer walks in to buy a flashy wristwatch of her type. Now, the customer picks the one that fits her bankrupt wrist perfectly. The customer then decides to cash in on one of her fake teller cards for the wristwatch. Hi, excuse me. Yeah. Hi. I'm looking for a watch. Might be about $100. I got $100 to spend. All right. Do you want a leather band, a metal band? Let me see this right here. Okay. Good on you. That one's 100 100 I'll take it. OK. Now we add tax on that. No. What is this? $100 gift card. The customer's cued into reality by Ashley, who tells her that her teller card is worthless. A gold card allows you discounts on the sales floor. You can't swipe this card and apply $100 on it. Time may be money, but what if she can't afford it? What tells her the time? This customer resorts to throwing expensive tantrums rather than paying for her item. What is she going to say? What is y'all don't understand up in here? OK, okay well, you what is I'm she going to say? Hold on one second. Right? Let me explain this. I'm not about to lose. I want to watch turn around and swipe. This customer went further to haggle and auction her priceless teller card in an open market. Now the market must be outside the pawn shop. So says Big Joe. No, I'm gonna get my money. Hey, Byron, show her no, where I'm the money's at. My money. He's gonna show you where the money's at. Okay, we'll the customer initially comes off as a nice person. Unfortunately for Les, she proved to not even remotely be nice, leaving the pawn shop owner stunned. Trying to get $350 for him. Why do you need the money? It's none of your business why I need the money. How my mother jewelry? Why are you swearing at me? Les is only trying to be professional with this woman and not be yelled at on how to do his job. This jewelry loaned me my money. I got to feed my kids. How many kids you got? I'm coming in here with my jewelry to get money. The customer didn't come for a bargain, but to banter with the pawn star. How'd you get You ain't even looked at my sh Reality checks in when the item the customer comes in to pawn off is fake. She tries to justify herself, refusing to admit that her earring is not the real deal. These are real. They are real earrings. They're just not real diamonds. They are. No, yes, they're not. The they are real. The customer and her partner are escorted out of the pawn shop by Big Joe, the intimidating security for American Loan and Jewelry. I just can't even you. breathe. That's how you treat your customers when they come in here. Customers are always right and treated well, only when they behave properly, so less claims. Ladies that act like ladies are treated like ladies. No, it don't work like it it's just a The customer decides to huff and puff as a means to get her fake item pawned off. Can you give me my money? money. money. I need my mother ass It takes only a stone wall to stop the big bad wolf from having its way. The customer huffs and puffs its best, but it doesn't stop Big Joe from doing his work. Time to go. No. Okay. Yo, wrinkled up. Probably ain't had no years. Supposed to be jewelry and long. Bull ass shot. Raggedy mother. The customer walks into the pawn shop, way in over her head, with an offer to loan or sell her item at her suggested value. How are you? I'm doing okay. What can I help you with? Either trying to get a loan on it, or you guys can buy it. Mm -hmm. Trying to sell it for maybe like one fifty. Ashley informs the customer of the value of her item, but the customer still insists on her price. Fifty bucks. Why is it fifty dollars? The certificate and everything is in there, and the bag costs actually way more than that. Well, if you can tell, it's actually stained. The customer desperately tries to cash in on her fake item, even after being told the item's not even worth half of what she's asking for. We're here. I'm trying to sell it for one fifty or get a loan, seventy-five dollars instead of the fifty. Yeah, I wasn't interested in more than fifty. Ashley, a master in her trade, proves to the customer the value of the item she wants to pawn is less. This is not one of the newer ones. This is not this season. I know about purses. But you still willing to buy for $50, though. So if it wasn't worth why would you even say $50? Well, they didn't say it wasn't worth Backed into a flight or fright corner, the customer decides to start a fight by calling Ashley offensive names. Pepperoni looking ass. Can I get some My pepperoni looking ass. Pepperoni ass? I don't even know what that means. Did she take a look at her own ass? The customer requests another manager ASAP, but the only person who can authorize it is Ashley. And I bet you she won't. Not after the rude customer called Ashley names. Why do I have to talk to you? Because you disrespectful. I'm, I'm disrespectful and you call me a pepperoni ass? Ugly ass bitch. Can I talk to the owner? I'm the owner. 
To start it all off, we've got this customer who approached Les, rattling off a list of items she wanted to reclaim from the store. All right, I'm Terry Austin. I came to get my ring, my computer, and my 16-inch TV. No problem. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. Give me your tickets. Yeah, we've been moving ever since I've been putting my... Apart from how inebriated she obviously was at that moment, her inability to procure the porn ticket or an ID was just downright suspect already. Do anything for you without either Oh, you can ID. do something for me. I come in here like every week on Saturday. Really? Yeah, What's my, my name? name? Bring me a ticket. I'll give it to you. Bring me your ID. I'll give it to you. Knowing she wouldn't be getting her way, the woman immediately went on a rage-filled rant which ticked Les off a lot. I'm gonna pay you, I don't get all the mother questions. When you take my money, you fing All I hear is you want my mother money. Now f you. You understand me? I just did, mother I just did. No, you sit right yeah. there. I ain't calling you no fing names. Let me the go, I want my stuff. To make matters even worse, in this totally blind and misplaced rage, this woman made things worse by dropping threats. Fortunately for her, Les didn't really take it too seriously. I will be back, you and your people. I can put up with a lot of but that woman cannot call me that cur. T E R R I, bitch. They got my You expect people to act like human beings. The customer came into the store claiming she was interested in getting a nice watch within a very affordable range. Hi, excuse me. Yeah. Hi. I'm looking for a watch. Maybe about $100. I got $100 to spend. All right. Okay. It's really pretty. And just like that, sold. But when it came time to pay, this customer did the funniest thing ever. Here. No. What is this? It's a $100 gift card. $100 gift card? So these are VIP cards. Ashley tried to explain things to this confused lady immediately since she seemed to have mixed things up. Turn around and swipe it, okay? There's no swiper on this. So you telling me I'm losing $100? Where do you see a swipe thing on this? Do you see a swiper? Look, thing? you the ugliest two sisters I've ever seen in my life. The lady just went completely ballistic on them, screaming and yelling out at the top of her lungs in an attempt to draw the other customers' attention. Somebody want to buy a preferred gift card? There's no, not a hundred dollars on it. There's no. Oh, I'm going to get my money. Hey, Byron, show her where oh, the I'm money's at. Get my money. He's going to show, show you where the money's at. at. Ashley had to attend to this irate customer who claimed a pair of earrings she had gotten from her niece, who got it from the store, were defective. My niece bought me some earrings from here. Oh, that was she nice. Bought them, uh, one of the diamonds was missing, and I wanted to know, can I get my money back? She, she told you that um, she bought them from us? Yes. The fact that she doesn't have a receipt was a huge issue already, but Ashley decided to examine the earrings before she told her that. So there's two problems here. The first problem, you don't have the receipt. Second of all, no cash. on the receipt it says no cash refund. One more problem that's really key to this whole thing. Mm -hmm. These are fake. The lady didn't like the news they shared, so she tried to turn everything on its head by appealing to other customers to stop getting things from the store so they don't suffer the same injustice she allegedly did. Um, excuse me, anybody buying any Jerry from here? Don't get no more Jerry from hey, here, because this hey, ain't good. Hey. Your short ass no. gonna tell me. Are you angry because your coat's so tight? No, my coat ain't tight. You so much little back there. We can sign the leave. Ashley felt it couldn't be anything else other than a scam since her story was quite odd. But since she just kept on badgering them with the threat to deface their store's image, they still tried to settle this as amicably as possible. Get the receipt. And then ain't no can mother you finish receipt. Me. It ain't can no receipt. Can you finish with me? No. We no. can no. sign the leave. I'm not going nowhere. I'm a jar. Right this woman came to Ashley claiming she had come to collect the price she was promised on the phone, which is pretty much impossible since it wasn't evaluated physically at all. I called up here and I got an estimated price and they told me that I could get 400 for the you, you called up here and got an estimated price? Yes. Nicole, over the phone? Yes, ma'am. But we don't see them over the phone. She is lying! Can I see your merchandise? To add a bit of credibility to a story, the lady tried to play it off as if she knew one of the employees at the store. Where Nikki at? Nikki. Nikki, Nicole. Well, which is it, Nicole or Nikki? Listen, it's real diamonds. All I know is I need my 400. Ashley was ready to stand on business. She was going to give this woman what her item was really worth. Nothing more, nothing less. So what you're saying is you're not gonna give me that $400, right? And they told me that they was gonna give me $400. Now, where the Nikki at? Uh, Where the f is Nikki at? Nikki! What? 
and so Ashley had to shadow this lady to see whatever trick she had up her sleeve as she searched around the store looking for Nikki. And Nikki, she claims she talked to you at 10 o'clock this morning. I called you, and they told me that they were going to give me $400. Oh, so oh, f that. I need my mother money right now. I don't know what this chick was talking about. She was very confused. Nikki was definitely more confused than ever with the whole thing this lady had going on, and Ashley wasn't having it either. So she came up with a plan to kick this woman out of the store. Let me have Nikki give the ear. I need my mother money. And you can take your yeah. earring. You know, oh, so you gonna disrespect me like that? Let's put her outside. I don't need nobody to escort me out this bitch. Refunds aren't a thing at the American Jewelry and Loan Store. It's even printed boldly on their receipt. This guy would definitely know if he had one in the first place. How are you? Not good. I got a little issue here. What's your issue? Bought this watch from you guys a couple days ago and it's not working. Cash? Cash. How much did you spend? I spent a lot of money on that thing, man. There's no way he wouldn't know how much he spent on something that expensive. So there's something wrong here. How much did you spend? I spent a few thousand dollars on a Rolex. This is the box that came in? Yeah. Okay, what does it say? Hi, how are you? Looking for a watch, a nice watch. You know what I'm playing? Sure. Which one? That one right there. This one? Yes, ma'am. Hey, like this right here. How much is this watch right here? 75 bucks. I don't want no $75 watch. Do you want to spend more or less? Like a watch like 500 He seemed extremely dissatisfied with the first watch they handed over, but managed to find one that tickled his fancy, nestled among the rest in the show glass. Right here, that's platinum. Yeah, I like that one. Oh, now, this one's real nice right here. I think I could look good when I go out with this. That one's sharp. How much is this one right here? $5.99. Oh, no, oh, no. Well, they've managed to find a perfect fit for this customer. Now, it's time to pay. With the way he was talking up a storm, you'd think he had something tangible ready. Now, before you say something, now, I'm going to be honest with you. This right here, it's worth a lot of money. So this, I should get some change back. It's a $2 bill. OK, and it's worth $2,000. That's it. This guy should be locked up in a mental home where he can't tick off the others. It's obvious he isn't exactly quite right in the head. I'm about to go deaf right now. Oh, don't, don't piss off Bugatti, first of all, because you know what? This is worth more than that around your neck. You understand me? I ain't got no money. You know hey, what I'm have a good day. Please have a Big Mouth. Big Mouth is hungry. <laughs> You're hilarious. Les was surprised when he had to meet with these two guys who had the oddest story to tell. She pawned two of our laptops, and she told us she was going to give us the money and the laptops back. Because she knew some, she knew somebody that worked. Here. This girl told you one of my guys would meet you at the back door, so you'd end up with the laptops and the money. Basically, they'd been attempting to scam the store, but unfortunately for them, they'd gotten scammed instead. And their bright idea was to say that to the owner's face. Either this is a new way for my employees to steal from me, or a new way for a customer to try to steal. So the laptops are not in your name. No. According to law, they belong to her, not you. Oh my God, I mean, they didn't steal them from you, right? At least it seems they're starting to understand how messed up of a situation it is that they're in, but they have absolutely nobody else to blame but themselves. What's the problem? What's the problem? I'm a DJ, okay? We make beats on the computer all day. I DJ. Yeah, we understand all that, but it's not in your name, so I can't do anything for you. I'm sorry. Hi, man. A pregnant customer walked into the store claiming she'd dropped by to check if an item that had caught her eye was still up for sale. I was just here last week and uh -huh. I seen this horse that y'all had and I really want it. I didn't have the money last week. For sure. You saw it? Where is it? It's right over here. It seemed as if she was looking to get the item in preparation for her incoming child. The only issue is the fact that she isn't financially buoyant enough to afford this luxury. It right here. Okay, and last week when you were here, how much were you quoted? Well, I was quoted twenty dollars for it. You were quoted twenty. Do you work? I try to look for a job and stuff, but it's just hard right now. And this is something that I want to get for my baby. This would mean so much to me. Ashley isn't exactly the textbook example of kindness, but the lady's story really struck a chord with her. So she felt it best to dole out some kindness. You give me five, and then my gift to you is the remaining fifteen. That'll be great. That'd be really great. Okay. Okay, so this is your car? Yes. Do you want me to open it for you? I'll open it. Again, thank you so oh, much. Oh, my pleasure. Anything to help you and the baby? That was a huge surprise. Who knows what other lies she's told? 
Maybe the little horse sitter wasn't even $20 in the first place, too. Next up is this weird lady who believes she's got a monopoly on all things pink. So when she saw a pink coat in the store, she tried to claim it as hers. Is that is that my coat over there? Can I please get my coat chopped out over here on the display? How are you today? I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm good, thank you. That's my coat. She really had a coat at the store. The only issue is that it isn't pink as she claimed it is. But she was too crazy to see that. Well, number one, it's a brown fur coat that you have. No, I don't know. That's pink. That is not her pink coat. Can how I long, get my coat? How long have you been going can to I, change your Can life? I get my coat? Can I get my coat? Right there. That just goes to show how far off the deep end she is, since she can't even calm herself down enough to listen to reason. Security! Security! Security and his mother! Get your ass out of my I'm store! She got the security to intervene. Quite all right. Only thing is, they came to toss her out the store rather than come to her aid. There you go. Holy mackerel. Just... No, no, no. Me, no, up in there. Bring me the... I want pink! Then there's this lady who walked in all confrontational, claiming she'd been refused the right to get her purse due to the fact that her ticket was way past its expiration date. Excuse me. Hi. Hi, I have a question for you. Yeah. Okay, I went to get my purse back to make my payment. She's telling me this is expired. That's my purse right there. That bag was never in porn in the first place. So Ashley knew this lady was up to some very crazy shenanigans. If you don't give me the purse, I'm gonna climb over the counter and get it myself. Give me my purse. If you wanna buy it? I just wanna look at it and make sure it's not mine. Okay, first of all, I'm, I'm not, not First of all, don't talk to me like I'm a idiot. You. Give me my her, so I'm gonna come over that counter. After a very long standoff, the lady decided to do the unthinkable as she tried to jump right over the counter to get the purse. Okay. Oh my god. Get, get your hands off me. Have a nice day. Let's go. Oh, Walk yeah. yourself out, you. you. Really jacked up customer wants some money for his golden jewelry. The only problem is that there's not much gold or jewelry, just scrap that's as useless as the fit that he throws at less. If you act aggressively and weirdly towards less, then you're most likely going to find yourself facing Seth in security. This steroid-infused customer learned that the hard way. We start in with this lady who desperately needed a laptop that she had to result to taking her top off. Now it's safe to say that she scared everybody in that pawn shop. There's a wise saying that you should cut your coat according to your size. Well, this next customer clearly doesn't know that saying, and neither does her friend. How are you? How can I help you guys today? I want a meat coat today. Sure. I wear a small. You sure this is a small? It's, a, it's, a, it's actually a medium. What? No, I wear a small. Try it. Try it. Suck it in. The customer's under the delusion that she wears a small size. Seth doesn't want to call her out directly, so he does the next best thing. Here, try this one. This is the one. Okay, let me try it. Me try, try it. Try it on. Yep. Yep. There you go. Another side. Yep. Let me see. Let me yeah. see. Oh, hell! No, you tried me, <laughs> mother. Bless's pawn shop is a magnet for weird customers, like this woman who thought that she could resist a man twice her size. I need your ID or the ticket. Uh, my what? ID or your ticket. Look, I just want my Listen, don't listen. 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 Listen.
I get my no. no. I'm not leaving out here till I get my Wait, wait. The door's right there. Have a good day. See ya. See ya. We're not police, but damn it, we're not your local psychologist neither. Another woman walks in with something that she believes is silver, but she starts behaving weirdly when Rick tells her the truth about her silver ring. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How about yourself? Doing all right. I've got a, a ring I want you to take a look at for okay. me. And CZ means that it's not diamonds. I can't see it. I'm sorry if my like eyes aren't that great. What are you saying it's worth? It's not. It's not worth anything? I'm not interested. The old lady displays the most typical Karen behavior you'll see anywhere, and she also assaults the big security guard while she's at it. Have a nice day, man. No, I'm not I'm not leaving until you come to your senses, old man. I've worked for an attorney, I know my rights. Don't touch me! This next one's yet another case of a weirdo customer screaming over worthless jewelry. Her high and annoying tone wears on Les's patience quickly. I'm good. How are you? I have a ring that I want to pawn. Uh huh. His daddy, um, his daddy left me. I need some money. How long were you married? Thirteen years. Wow. It's gonna be under a thousand. Under a thousand? Yes, ma'am. Why? Well, because you have a little chip on the side of your stone. A chip? Yes, oh, let's just go somewhere else. No, he don't know a damn thing. Poor woman. No husband. You want to try to hustle me. These must think I'm stupid. It's always weird and a little sad to see a kid act more maturely than his mom. But the kid does it so well that he even impresses Buyer and the Bear. Yeah, mom, let's go. This is, this wait, this I'm not going. Yeah, this is stopping me. me. Hey, what? This man's wait, wait, wait. seven wait, wait, foot tall. Wait, wait, wait. Come on, girl. Please, go. Bring it on. You don't know who you're messing with. Get here. Damn it. Oh, you're powerful. This one's got to be one of the weirdest customer interactions ever. First off, Seth has to explain how her generator works, which somehow spiraled into the customer sexually assaulting a pole outside the pawn shop. I'm looking for something like a generator like this. Okay. But I don't know how to use it or anything. Generators are simple to use, my man. It doesn't work. Well, could I take it to my house and see if it'll work? What? Like, go to my house. We don't allow you to try it out at home. You all right? You're a jackass. You know what? Take your jackass out of here. No, I ain't going nowhere. Oh, you want to bet? Excuse me. Have a good day, sir. Um, hell no. Have no, day. no. Have a good day, sir. No. Plus, has to deal with weird customers all the time, but he won't stand for anybody trying to shake him down. However, that doesn't stop this weird customer from trying. I'm sorry? Yes. Mark Hollingsworth. Mark Hollingsworth. Yeah, how are you? Nice to meet you. I'm good. Where are you from, Mark? Clearwater, Florida, but I have family up here in Northville, and we're starting a uh, towing company, recovery, uh, impounding. But say you have a car that's left overnight by some chance. It okay. doesn't happen. Well, things happen. This is going to be our business as well. No, it's today. definitely not going to be. Listen. No, you listen. You are not coming into my business and trying to shake me down. Do you understand me? The man gets run out of the store. Now, he probably didn't see himself leaving the store with the help of security, but that's what happens when you try to hustle less gold. Old Here's man, you and you guys work. are running this sale right Here's here. This the way it's now. going to work, sir. You can leave nicely or we can throw your ass out. I tried coming Nobody in here. Nobody comes in here shaking me down. Do you understand that? Yeah, of course you're not. I'll be back in this. All right, come on back. This weirdo thought she could get a nice watch without paying for it. There was only one way the transaction could end, and it didn't end with the woman leaving with a watch. Do you want a leather band, a metal band? Let me see this right here. This will be good. Okay. This one. This is really pretty. No. What is this? It's a $100 gift card. $100 gift card? $100 gift card. What, where do you see a swipe thing on this? Do you see a swiper? Look, thing? you the ugliest two sisters I've ever seen in my life. This guy made the weirdest request because his jewelry wasn't silver enough to pawn. Wait till you see the move he pulled when security had to literally carry him to the door. It has to weigh over 30 grams in order for me to help you out, sir. It doesn't weigh enough for us to take it. Everybody starts yelling. It's like yawning. Here you go. Thank you. So I can't get uh, like nothing. Nothing. nothing for it. Nah. We're Ain't not nothing gonna work. We're not interested. Get back and chill. No, he can. He can go. 
This lady claims that she spent a grip in the store, but if she's to have any help of reclaiming her money, she needs to get a grip on her temper. But all we know is that it's easier said than done. Hi. How you doing? Good, how are you? I asked for a chinchilla scarf. Yeah. And you sold me a rabbit. A bunny. How do you know it's rabbit? Because my girl told me it was rabbit. I took it home. She it threw it back at me and told me this ain't chinchilla, this is rabbit. Only one thing's going to clear this up, and of course, the customer doesn't have it. Who throws away the receipt before deciding how satisfactory the product is? Do you have your receipt? I don't have a receipt. You don't see this? Look at it. It's flying through there. Look at that. Ain't nothing chinchilla about it. I want my money now. Have a good day. F you too. I want my money. Man, I spent good money up in this bitch. Why you so violent, girl? Go on up out of here. It looks like the answer is everybody who comes to American Pawn and Jewelry. The next customer on our list has a ton of diamonds, but with no leg to stand on, there really is little the Golds can do for her. That's the golden rule. My niece bought me some earrings from here. Oh, that was nice. Them, uh, one of the diamonds was missing, and I wanted to know, can I get my money back? Do you have the uh, receipt? No. Do can gifts come with a receipt? Yeah. Second of all, no cash on the receipt, it says no cash refund. One more problem that's really key to this whole thing. Mm -hmm. These are fake. There are many things wrong with this lady's jewelry, and Ashley can swear it didn't come from them. Of course, the customer doesn't like the sound of that. Nobody does, and things get more real than her earrings. Oh, here. Oh, well, um, excuse me, anybody buying any jewelry from here? Don't get no more jewelry from hey, here, because this hey, ain't good. Hey, hey, no, hey, hey, no. hey, hey, Get out of here. Get out of the store. Two options. You, you pick whichever option you want. You can leave. No, I ain't Second going option. Where? Second option what? is you can get the receipt. Wait a mother minute, now get your hands off. I guess you leave. Uh, I'll, be, I'll be back. I'll be back. See you then. Blue ass baby. When a purchaser brings his aunt with him to fight for his rights, you can be sure that it's not going to end well. But if there are any doubts, his response to Seth's golden question clears it up. I'm Barbara. Nice to meet you. And this is my nephew, nice Leon. Leon. Hey, Leon, nice to meet you. We came up here a couple of weeks ago, and my nephew had pawned his TV in. Okay. Right, so he pawned about three months ago. Yeah, so we're up here now, and all he wants is a remote for his TV. You ever see that you where you purchased it? One thing uh, I have. There's no evidence a remote was part of what this lady's dearest nephew bought. But guess when it comes to family, she doesn't believe in following logic. Now it's too bad for the duo that Seth doesn't subscribe to theatrics. Oh, I got it right here. That's the barcode for the TV. Oh, you took the barcode off the TV. If we could just get, get a remote home. for the TV, right. you know, that'd be all good. I can sell you a universal remote no, if you no, like. No, 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 He pawned the no. TV. It was a remote to You want to buy one? So you get my nephew his remote the right moment. now. Yeah. Uh, it's your auntie. Oh, auntie. 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 We're going to get your remote. Come on, read it. While the fights for proof mostly happen in sales, sometimes those in pawn also get their proof mixed up. Get out of here. My. I get my now. I'm not leaving out here till I get my. Wait, wait. The door's right there. Have a good day. Because you got a big dude, you think you hard? Most customers fight because they got no receipt, but it's rare to see one fight because she wants one. This lady's got to be a pro at doing her tax returns, or in this case, her boyfriend's returns. And I had got my TV out of pawn. Okay. They didn't give me a receipt, and I need the receipt. We don't give out receipts. What you mean you don't give out receipts? We don't get our receipts. give out receipts. I do business with y'all all the time. You're sure you're at the right place? Well, that escalated fast. What other proof of payment for her own stuff does a lady want? Except that it's back at home with her like the pawn never happened. I need a receipt. My man needs to know what the f I spent my money on. And you sitting there looking all stupid. And you can look at me like you stupid if you want to. I want my mother receipt. We don't give our receipt. Just because you don't agree with my rules doesn't mean you can act like a fool. Can I get my receipt? My man wants to know what the f I've been doing with my money. Can I get I my I don't know what the f you've been doing with you. If she doesn't get into trouble with the IRS, she'll definitely get into trouble with the police. Who goes to somebody's territory and threatens them with arson? Okay, it's time for your ass to get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here.
Raising your voice does not get you better service. The only thing it does is get your ass thrown out of here. We hear funny excuses all the time at the store, but one you don't hear often is that somebody stole my ticket. Okay, to what end? Nobody's taken anything out of pawn with no means of identification. Hello. Hi, how are you? Fine. I'm coming to get my earrings out. I ain't got my pawn ticket, but I got my ID. Okay, you know it's going to be a $7 charge for the ticket? Right, but somebody stole my ticket. Ma'am, can I help you? I'm overhearing some Who yelling. are you? Who are you? Manager, can I help okay, you? Okay, first of all, y'all got all this money, and y'all can't make me a copy of my receipt? No, you don't have your receipt. The $7 extra charge for having no receipt has already gotten the customer into a twist, and when she finds out that there's more to lose, she loses her cool. Can't say I can blame the lady, though, with Ashley brandishing the receipt in front of her like that. Oh, bad. ticket that you didn't have them when you brought them in, we don't have them. I'm going to whoop your ass. You are? You them cars in the back of I'm going to your cars up. And it looks like it's probably time for this lady to get out of here before she ends up hurting somebody. Get out. You get out. Put me out. Put me out. You got to put me out this bitch. Hey. I ain't going no my you know, that's bitch. Joe. I don't care who he is. Hey, put your stretch pants on. Oh, oh I'm Girl, sorry. Girl. A biker with attitude and no receipt gets the only remedy for people like him when he starts yelling at Karen for a miracle. Uh, I want my money back or... You bought it here? Go, yes. This coat looks a little beat up to me. Yeah, you're telling me. I'm not very happy. Do you have your receipt? No. Does this dude realize the number of people walking through that door daily? Except that he's Ryan Gosling's twin, there's zero chance of Karen remembering the guy. I want my money back or I want another coat. I can't help you unless you have a receipt. I can't give you another call without a receipt. Take, I'll just take one. Then. What do we got? Uh, Byron? What do we you got? You want to assist here? this, sir? What do we with got here? What's wrong? I'll take this whole damn wreck. Hold on, my man. Hold on. I'll take this whole wreck. What? This ain't you, man. Calm down, man. Let's go. What? The last customer on our list isn't too happy with what he got the last time in the store, but this little issue can't work out without a receipt. Hey, man, I need to talk to somebody about this. This piece of junk I bought in here just a couple days ago don't work now. It's broken. Do you have your receipt? I don't have a receipt. I didn't think I needed to keep it. There's nothing I can do for you without a receipt. If you had the receipt, I could give you an exchange. I could give you something. I don't want an exchange because it's probably going to be some again. Less as a solution to all kinds of problems, and it's none other than his trusted security. As expected, Byron provides the swiftest answer to the meathead's issues. Anything. All the, all the, and you can back off too, man. Like all this uh, That's security right. standing around or whatever. I don't give He's a rat's ass my... about that. Well, we don't you know give I mean? a rat's ass either. Like I I'll said, there's no that. receipt. Look here, man. You better back off, too, oh, man. Like, don't touch oh, him. Don't touch Come on. Come on, let's go. Really? Let's go. Hey, let's go. I told you, man. Let's go. Come on, fight. This customer came walking into the store with a very ferocious beat to her steps, making it clear that she was pissed off by something or someone. Hi. Hi. I have a question for you. Yeah. Okay. I went to get my purse back to make my payment. She's telling me this is expired. That's my purse right there. That one right there is black one. Naturally, the scenario she claims now could actually happen, especially after her ticket has expired. But the thing is, Ashley apparently knows how the purse truly made its way onto the shelf. This is your purse. That's my purse right there. How do you money. know that's your purse? Because I know my purse. Here's the money. I want the purse. That bag was never in pawn. Since the lady remained delusional, Ashley tried to make things clear to her in an attempt to stop her from causing more scenes than she already has. If you want to buy it, I just want to look at it and make sure it's not mine. Okay, first of all, I'm, I'm not, not. First of all, don't talk to me like I'm a and idiot. You. Give me my purse or I'm going to come over that counter. After that very uncomfortable moment they spent staring each other down, the lady knew she wasn't going to get her way as easily as she thought she would. So she rethought her steps and tried to do the unthinkable. Okay. Oh my God. Get, get your hands off me. Have a nice day. Let's go. Oh, Walk yeah. yourself out, you. you. Walk get yourself your hands off Walk me, yourself out. You'd think those were the worst ones yet, but wait till you see this lady who was trying to bring in her TV. Well, she was until it suffered a pretty nasty fall. Oh, hell no. Excuse me. Excuse me. Bitch, you hear me? Bitch, well, you made me drop my TV. You dropped your TV because you wanted to drop With how hard they were going at it, it almost seemed as if the lady was getting ready to get into a physical altercation with the other lady if need be. 
but Ashley immediately made her way over to handle the situation. Hey, 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 hey. Shh. hey What's up? You sh she broke my TV oh, I when I came the door. How did she break your TV? Because I told her to hold the door and I dropped it and it cracked. It's cracked. Okay, so what do you want me to do about it? Um, I don't know. Is you the manager? Yeah, so maybe you're you the manager, to... but you ain't acting like that. Isn't exactly the right way to treat a person trying to help. You can't hold it against Ashley if she decides to toss the annoying woman out now. Like I said, bitch, you gonna pay for my bitch? You hey, gonna pay for bitch, my bitch, Despite having gotten her just dessert, the woman refused to relent on her attack and kept on talking up a storm, throwing threats all around without a care to the world. Who is the type that will get smacked? Really? Really. Try it. Y'all got me up. You have Go get one my minute TV. to get your out of our store. After having missed payments for two whole months, this woman had the audacity to complain about the service she got when she tried to pay just a dollar. Hurry up, please. Well, I gotta be working three o'clock, so please. Ma'am, do you wanna come back when you have more time? Can you get somebody else to uh, serve me? If she would have looked at our policy, she would see that on a $1,200 loan, you need to pay $50. Since she seemed uneducated on how things work, Les took it upon himself to kindly explain how things actually work around the shop. If you put anything in layaway, you have to put more money down. But, okay, I understand that. I'm not old, I'm not seen now, I'm not a So fool. you even, well, if you're not a fool, why would you even come in and offer a dollar? The lady was a nasty piece of work, but they had no option other than to attend to her. A customer is still a customer, after all. Despite her very condescending tone, they could only try to help her regardless, as long as she doesn't go too far, of course. Time is ticking, time is So money. why don't you come back when you have time? I live way in my land. I'm not coming back. This is poor business. I done gave y'all so much money, and then this is how I get treated. Ma'am, you're passing. You know what? I hope you and your money live good on this earth, because when God comes back, baby, no, you're going to be just. Of all the stuff that she's done, what she said was the straw that broke the camel's back. The Golds decided to take necessary measures. you. Please. It takes a lot for my dad to get upset. This lady took it to a whole new level. She crossed the line. Looking to sell a watch, this customer walked up to Les, asking him for $400 for a watch he claimed to have gotten for double the price. Doing good. Good, what can I do for you? Let me at least like 400 for this watch right here. What can I do for you today? Can I get like 400 for this watch right here? We deal in high-end watches. This was worthless. Nothing for us to deal with. Les appraised the watch and pegged it out to be absolutely worthless, a point he made sure to pass across to the man. But instead of just taking his business, this man decided to fly off the handle instead. Well, give me like 450 for this Why watch. Why are you yelling at me? I got a baby on the way, dog. Congratulations. I'm sick of living, I'm sick of living at the crib, man. My girl on my head. Boy, give me 400 for this watch. 400? No, I'm sorry. Hey, this is a bleep ass place, man. This whole ass place. Les tried to be as nice as possible as he could to the guy, despite how annoying he was, kicking up a fuss and all. He went further and he did something that made Les lose his cool. Uh, excuse me. Hey, bitch, pick bitch, it up. Follow me. Y'all, don't touch me, homie, dog. Touch me, dude. I'm out this bitch, man. y'all, man, for real. While trying to deal with a thieving employee, Ashley got dragged into another drama when she had to deal with this man who had just gotten his item out of pawn. Bought him in like what, like two months ago? All of a sudden, it's just up now. <laughs> Those pieces came off. So can you fix them or something for me? Let me see it. Some bulls. I'm like, what the is this? Okay. It's a screw missing, isn't it? Uh, yes, it is. Uh... It's quite normal for him to get upset over something like that. It's his item that got damaged after all, but he doesn't have to be that rude about it. Oh. Can you just put a screw in there for me? I just fix my please. I can, I can charge you. You can charge me? Yeah. What kind of is that? I was gonna help you, but your mouth just kept talking. Listen, can you just fix my glasses, please? I will pay for it. Okay. 15. Things would have gone quite well if he had just done exactly what he did now, but being the undisciplined yoke that he is, he just couldn't help but make some rude comments along the way. A little short ass. Dwarf. It was not like that. Screw was missing his. Take it. Go somewhere else. Let me get your money back. Sweat over here. Here's another rude customer who needs a lesson on the proper etiquette needed for engaging strangers. 
especially strangers helping you out of a bind by buying your item. I was coming to buy my ring because I have to pay my rent. It was due a couple weeks ago. Oh, okay. Why you keep looking at my ring like that is real? That is real diamond? No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. This lady thinks that she's some kind of expert and keeps on pestering less with the nonsense that she came up with. Two hundred dollars. Two hundred. Well, what I can do is I can give you eighty. Eighty dollars. Eighty dollars. That's the only way I'm gonna find it. So you gonna give me two hundred dollars or not? That was pretty atrocious, asking for more than her item's worth. She might be used to getting her way elsewhere, but Les made it clear that that's not how things are going to go today. How would you like Ma'am, Ma'am, what the hey, She can go. She can go. Thank you. This woman came in claiming that she'd pawned her laptop at the store, though she didn't have a pawn ticket to prove it. Fortunately, she had her ID with her. Is in here. Show me the ticket. And I'm a, I don't have it with me, but okay. I have my ID. Okay. If you need to see my sure. ID. Oh, there it is. There right you there. got it. Okay, Ms. Bowie, we definitely have you for a coat, so you can go right over to the windows and make it. Unfortunately for her, her name didn't get any hits on the computer, and there was nothing that they could do about that. After all, there's no way that they can just hand her a laptop without seeing a ticket to back the whole thing up. It's my computer, yes, my computer. No, you have a fur coat in front. I, and I understand that, but I have also, I have a computer. Check and give me my computer. I checked and it's not here. I mean, damn, I do a lot of business I in know. here. I run this mother I'm like the VIP up in this bitch. Well, if it's not there, it's not there. Now, it might just be another plot to score a free laptop off the store, but there's no way Les would let something like that happen ever. Well, I'm not going nowhere. I'm here till you get stick my computer. Ma'am, stick around. I mean, I try to live a Christian life. She's a nice, polite Christian woman. Yeah, right. If I'm stupid, you stupid. Fine. Now what? We just two stupid mother. Well, the problem is this okay. stupid mother isn't going to yeah, help. Yeah. You. This customer just makes you wonder what's wrong with the world. Ashley couldn't even manage to hide her shock when she found out why she came to the store. Coming in to try and get like. 1500 for this. Okay. I'm trying to get my baby daddy out of jail, and I've been really trying to work things out with us. You're true, right? Just, that's my man. He does me good, okay? Although the entire thing is absolutely astonishing, Ashley can only move on. After all, it's a deal waiting to be made. Are you going to check the cars out or what? You want like 50 bucks? No, not 50 bucks. I want 1500 for I these. I can't help you with that. I said. I don't care what you said. I don't want to hear that. I want 1500 Some people are just bonkers, and that's really clear to see. After all, a card store would obviously be the best option for items like this. And to top it all off, her demands are just way too unreasonable. They don't owe her a dime. 1500 What part of that you ain't understanding? I understand everything. You ain't You're not getting it. Let's play some sports. 100. Seth had to attend to this guy who came in looking to get a camera. What he did after he showed him an affordable piece of the ones they had available they had Seth floored. I'm looking for cameras. What kind of good cameras you yeah, got? Yeah, whatever you need. Yeah, so some point oh, and shoot okay, right over here. here. All right, yeah, I think I'll take this one. That logic is absolutely absurd, and there's no way Seth would just let him keep their merchandise on his person without having paid for it. Can you just keep it on the showcase for me, please? Why can't I just keep it on Well, if you pay me for it right now, I'll let you put it in your pocket. Byron, you want to hold on to this gentleman's camera that he's about to purchase from me? What, are you trying to call me a thief or something? No, I'm just telling you that he'll hold on to your camera until you're ready to buy something. Since the guy seems to be pretty lacking in the wisdom department, Seth decided to share a few nuggets of his own. Part of being the owner of this place, it doesn't have to make sense to everybody as long as it makes sense to me. It sounds to me like you're trying to call me a thief. I ain't no, no thief. Right. I'll solve that. Thank you, sir. He's just irredeemable at this point, and if he wasn't a thief like he claimed, he wouldn't have had an issue paying for the camera. Now, would he? You can leave, sir. I'd like to be able to walk around the store, and then I'll show you my money when it's time to clock out. Byron, clock his ass out. This woman walks into the pawn shop for anything around the $100 range. A watch or an excellent band would do. But little did the customer, Ashley or her girlfriend, know that they were about to go into an entire bout the next minute over a $100 card. Yeah, hi. I'm looking for a watch. Buy me about 
Hundred dollars. I got a hundred dollars to spend. All right. Do you want a leather band, a metal band? Let me see this right here. Good on you. It was a hundred. Hundred. I'll take it. Okay. What is this? It's a hundred dollar gift card. Hundred dollar gift card. $100 gift card. These are not our gift cards. Ashley explained that the card is meant to reduce how much you pay and is never to be used for any direct payment. But this customer is not waiting to have that conversation. Turn around and swipe it, okay? There's no swiper on this. So you telling me I'm losing $100? What is she going to say? What don't understand up in here? Show her where the money's at. My money. He's going to show you where the money's at. Okay, we'll walk up. I need my money. What you hey, so mad for? Go ahead. The crazy customer takes a cone in exchange for her television. Now, she plans to scare an employee and make them do what she thinks, but Les is trained as employees well. Procedures first, actions later. It's like a good honeymoon. Meanwhile, standing behind the counter is Hurricane Ashley and behind the customer is Big Joe. Excuse me. Hello. Hi. Yes, um, my boyfriend found my TV um, and I need it back. I don't got no slip or nothing, but I need my TV. What you can do, since it's uh -uh. not legal for us to look up no. somebody else's look name. Up my TV, lady. No, I will not. Don't, uh -uh. don't do that to me. 